everybody people welcome back i'm nat at mud magic thank you for joining us again for another freddie mercury kiln unload we're buzzing a little bit here in the mud magic family because my daughter's first published works <laughs> turned up yesterday and i just gave trace hers and jess signed oh, it so and good. i just gave it to her for christmas so yay i'm so proud and you know what i was like i said to trace i'm putting it in my video it's my video i don't care you can all put up with proud mother moments so there you go <laughs> so i'll give you that uh so we had a bit of an issue with freddie this week so i stayed up until 4 a.m and i'm not even exaggerating to get this kiln on so that it could be done and ready for trace yesterday to do the kiln unload we went and saw Swan Lake last oh. night, the Australian Ballet. Amazing. Nine course digger station dinner. Oh, just amazing. Got home really late. It was like midnight. He was off. He was dead. Black. Everything. Like this was still on, but that was black like that, which if when he's finished, it's still flashing red. So I was like, no, what's happened? Didn't know. We hadn't had a blackout. I looked, none, none of the glaze had melted yet and the cones hadn't started going. So I was like, oh, maybe we can just restart it. Went out to the power box and it had tripped the power box. I turned it back on, turned it on and it ran through beautifully. But I'm really scared now because I don't know whether that, I don't know how long it fired for the first time, how hot it got, whether it's caused any issues. Had a lot of look at the top shelf and the top shelf seems okay. Don't know, we'll see further down, but I, yeah, I'm a bit scared. So I couldn't think of anything else. We have had a blackout once before, and when I turned him back on, it didn't trip the thing, so I just turned it back on, or it just came back on, sorry, and it just restarted from where he had had the blackout from. But this time, he was dead. I had to start him from scratch, so I don't know. So let's get into it and have a look. So top shelf is all mine. There are a couple of Tracy's pieces further down. And we've got a couple of refires, even one of Tracy's refires down here. So, and she said to me, oh, it's not going to work. <laughs> no, no, nothing ever works. <laughs> um, so who knows, because our refires are pretty much 50-50 on whether they work or not. So we'll see. But it's um, that, that bowl where she had all the crawling outside last kiln, I think. We got it back through mm. pretty quick. So cones... Um, Again, fives only just started going, but again, that's my fault. There's only one element because I was being greedy and I want to put an extra <laughs> shelf in. So that is my fault, but still they look okay. So talking about refires, this was a refire. So this was only like a couple of kiln loads ago as well, the lotus leaf shape, which I love. And it had the horrible marigold and it looked like custard in the bottom. So I just put one coat of um, soft red um, spectrum soft red in the bottom I love it I think it's beautiful yeah. didn't do anything to the outside didn't do anything to it, the sides just the bottom it looks like a little girl with a little spiky hair up the top and you've got little arms oh, a little triangle looks dress like a duck to me now actually it looks like a little duck bill at the side <laughs> I don't know anyway I've been glazing ducks like crazy or under glazing <laughs> with, it, with the moulds so I think I've got duck fever uh, but anyway, much better, much, mm. much, much better. So the marigolds changed the pink a tiny bit, but I love it. It's still tonal. It was on a cookie, but because I had looked at the top shelf, I tapped it off and it's fine. It's only a couple of little ones. So I just stick that straight on my wheel and grind it off. And the, But the great thing is all that frothing that we had that was one particularly bad spot mm. that you can still see a deep one, it's all gone. So that's why it's, it's run, run more. more. But it's worked. It's so obviously gone. where it pulls deep. Pull where, it, sorry, where it's thicker, where it pulls, it it gets the. Dots. It reruns, yeah. But that's great. So it worked. So mm. um, yes. So um, much better and much better much inside. Better. Beautiful pink. So um, Sarah Walton, she she named me, and you can also all see it on the YouTube comments. Her pink sister. So Pink Sister Girl, she was the one who told me how to get rid of the frothing as well. And I love it. Soft red. You know, who doesn't love soft red? Probably half the world, but I love it. <laughs> me. You. <laughs> no, Actually, no, I, I do appreciate the beauty of it, it's but pretty. it's not me. <laughs> it's not like the reactive reds are hot pink in your face. That's just pretty. Uh, so marbling. This is not the bowl that I marbled in my video. They're still, because there's two matching, I want to do them together and I didn't have room, so I still haven't done them. But I like that. Mm. So that's the turquoise, I think. And the that's black. a pretty colour. Turquoise in the Keen 6. 
So this is the last of that horrible batch that kept bloating, but these seem to be okay. So that's pretty. This is the same obsidian splashes of power turquoise that I love. I kept the other two bowls, so I wanted to do one for the market. So that's I just so repeated it. It's caught a tiny bit of kiln wash there because of the obsidian, but that's easy to, I'll just um, sandpaper that on and have to grind that. It's so pretty, isn't it? I've done it on is. a few things yep. now, like that water jug or something, I, or vase or something I didn't want to. Love it. Actually, it's just black. I might as well done it. But this one's weird. So I got in the mood to do a pebble bowl, another pebble bowl. I haven't done one in years. And I didn't like the shape of this bowl. It kind of slumped. So I thought, well, it's already wacky. I'll make it more wacky. But look at it. So that's just river birch outside. I was on the massive river birch train. I'm falling off. It's a bit seaweedy. It's a bit, what do I, what do I say? Oh, Wilted like herbs. Because yeah, it's sort of a maybe. bit greenish almost, browny green wilted yeah. herbs. But again, that could be, because it hasn't normally done that. Usually it, it's much more pretty. Usually, it, so maybe that was to do with what happened with Freddie. I don't know. But inside, I like it. I'm not sure about the dots in the bottom. But the funny thing is, so it's honey flux. So I didn't put river birch. I did over the top, I think. But honey flux um, on the bottom. And then indigo float, lustrous jade, chun plum. And then a bit of light flux on the rim. And then I think I might have put a coat of river birch over because you can see some brown bits mm. here. And then any, anyway, so I love the green and the blue. And then I did the chum plum, so I did them in a bands on the rim. But obviously the chum plums just flowed right down onto it's the bottom because I didn't put it. Oh, maybe I'll put it on the bottom. I don't know. As I say, I always forget. I think I did now that I think about it. I don't mind it. It's gone a bit more red than it normally goes. Do you? Yeah. I like the sides. <laughs> I was like that, but it kind of has grown a bit more on me. But the dots, I'm not too sure. It'll be interesting to see at the markets. It's not going to be a thing. I do, but I like the shape of that, though. Yeah, I don't know. It was just a weird bowl. All right, so let's have a look. So I'd seen that, Chelsea. Let's see. Oh. oh, my bowl. That's cracked. <laughs> oh. Can I go home now? Oh, yeah, but that bowl just... Oh, you've seen it No, no, already. no. But that bowl just wasn't meant to be. Well, it was pretty. This <laughs> fix ain't fixing that. <laughs> Maybe that's what caused it. Maybe that's cracked because that's actually hitting the side. He's hitting the wall. It's fallen down. Maybe that's gone in and hit an element and, and thrown the kiln. Maybe that's what did it. Don't know. Don't know, but look, people. <laughs> Usually I can pick a piece up with one hand, not this two. Halves of a bowl. Oh, bowl. Oh, I don't like the outside anyway. That's but... the ancient copper. Oh, is it? Oh, good. That's the one I keep <laughs> saying. It's ugly, people. Why do you care that they're discontinuing? They're not discontinuing it. God, even you've got me saying it now. They're just changing, reformulating. Bisque fix. No. Not going to be your friend on that, I don't think. But how pretty yeah. is inside, apart from what? That, it's crawled pit in that corner. Mm. But what is that anyway? I want to know what that is. Oh, it's honey, beautiful. Oh, Here, the book's here. I didn't write it in. Of course not. I always say to her every time writing book. And actually, remember her saying, oh, I better write my pieces oh, in did. the book. And yes, she did. I did. Nice but that, I love how that's crawled. Is that? That's that almost like the is. snow effect. Almost, but there even is better. On, but there like is snow, snow on it. Yes. So it oh. is, as I said, ancient copper on the outside. Then it's... Um, Laguna Power Turquoise all oh, over oh, oh. Um, and then a band one inch down from the top to one inch oh. up from the bottom of Rainforest and then snow just over that band or the top half of that band. Wow and they've got the blue mm. but you can see so Power Turquoise is just up here that's why that's yes. greener and then an inch down you've done the Rainforest. The and Rainforest. Then snow and then the snow at the top of the rainforest. So I left a little bit of the oh. rainforest uncovered at the very bottom. But yet the snow's gone right down into the base. Yeah, it dribbled more than... It, well, power turquoise runs like crazy. Yes. So maybe even under the... Um, what did you say? Under the other rainforest. celadon. Rainforest. It yes. still dragged it because it moved so much. That effect is that... beautiful. <laughs> I just want to do snow on power turquoise now and see if you get that dribbling down a vase or something. Maybe. Yeah. I love um, that. 
If I keep yes. holding it like that, you can't the even bolt, see no. it. <laughs> that, yeah, that bolt. That bolt wasn't meant to be. It was Yeah. It was a, a much larger bowl. And then when I was tr I finished trimming it and it was still at the heart and I dropped it and I completely mushed it in. So I went, oh, well, it's going to be square. So then I bashed it square. I remembered. And then the and then ring I, was all The like ring was, this. yeah. So then I turned it upside down after it was bits and ground the whole ring off. So that's that probably, probably what's done it. it. Yeah. But I just thought how interesting this, we can have a how he even. said win <laughs> moment. And like, you know how he, oh, it does my head in. He pulls these beautiful, beautiful <laughs> moon jars and they're whatever I want. They're glorious. Gets a wire tool and goes zoop and pull, cuts it up the middle and it flops open. Oh, but we can do that. Look at how gorgeous your base and your rims. Oh, perfect. That's pretty even. But you can see how thick the glaze is in the bottom. That's really interesting. Yes. I love that. So mm. it shows how it's run and pulled into the bottom. Yeah. So that's why we need to put body. less in the bottom because it's going to run down anyway. Well, that only had two coats. It, that only had two coats initially in the bottom. Yeah, but power turquoise uh, pow maybe one. It was the power so turquoise. Was anyway. the power turquoise in the bottom, and, and oh, so the two power really? turquoise all over, and then your three rainforest, I but not into the bottom. Went blue on the power turquoise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I yeah. love how how good you. I have never ever cut one of my pieces apart. I just can't do it. I can't bring myself twice. to do I've, it. I've done it twice. I should. One I did in so class. Impressive. You should keep that just That's to like, yeah. <laughs> inspiration for your little but no i didn't show them the outside because yuck why do you people rave about it yuck look at it <laughs> it's just yuck there is nothing yeah, i, I mean know. when it's layered know, maybe when you yeah. did it with the snow and it yes. went spotted whatever they call it oil yeah. spotted but i yes. like the feel of it because it's a satin glaze oh hey there are a lot of satin ones. <laughs> <laughs> we just bought the whole range it turned up today well i did Yes. Of the satin, Amico satin mats, not the whole range, but quite the colours that we like, yes. Because I love that alabaster so much, so they'll be all coming charging through. So, my. Oh, oh. my goodness! Oh, oh. that looks like a witch's <laughs> warts or so something. Yeah. Like, she's done that it. Badly bloated. Wow. So that was um, my fault. I think, isn't that funny? Because I really tossed up whether to do that. So that was my forever heart bowl. Not anymore. So I decided when I did that swirl mug and the inside with the soft pink, soft red, looked so beautiful. And I said to Trace, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? And I decided to put it on the rim. You should have put it on the top shelf. Refired it. Well, I'm wondering whether it's again half half fired it and we've turned it back on and it's full fired it again maybe that's caused it to blister mm. so badly because that's the worst we've ever had yeah, that's terrible. some of them are huge so that's totally dead now um that is one for the bin so i will be repeating that but i'll but be putting the glaze really on pretty, for, <laughs> but it is it goes so well mm. doesn't it if you can just stop looking at them for a minute the it's, dots. <laughs> yes. they're a great match because you've even got a bit of white through the soft red oh yes it is it is beautiful but it's inside and outside bloated massively so yeah that'll be going in the bin okay let's look at this little one i'm just gonna see if there's any bloating right no okay perfect <laughs> so that is i uh, think lavender mixing clear and weeping plum mixing clear so remember i did almost identical and it sold really fast but it was the marigold mixing clear and the green the jade or mm. something on the outside was green and gold well i decided that's to do pink and purple, purple. So you. That's it's very pretty, pretty. it's pretty i'd like a chai out of that actually i might have to have a chai before i sell it because that's so pretty mm. um maybe i'll keep it can't keep everything right now tracy's refire that you can already see I'm uh, no, really, really scared because it's I can't see either. It's the outside. <laughs> but the good thing is the inside stayed Stay like good. petals. So the inside hasn't ruined. The outside, oh, it's on the cookie. Oh, it's it's on glorious. The it's fixed. It's yes. even better. Yeah, but gosh, it ran. Oh, it ran. <laughs> but yes. still only, in, you'll be able to get that off. Get Josh to get it off. You will. I reckon you will. With an angle grinder. Yeah. You will. That one's chunked though. That's really chunked there. Mm. That's a shame because that's on your piece, on the yeah. side of your piece. That's a shame. 
but that was for you to keep so it's not too much of a shame but you fixed it will adjust uh, yes. all that massive crawling and before you fixed it it was kind of like this patch this bit here it was sort of cloudy and I said oh what a shame it's not like that all the way around well I like it better now with these blue pools and everything that you've got and the inside's glorious. Did it have these rums so before? No, not. I don't it. think it did. I didn't think it did either. No. I prefer it. I yeah. think the inside's beautiful. So that was like oatmeal, indigo flow, blue rutile. I know the blue rutile because we were talking about how that could have yes. crawl, caused the crawling, unless that was a different one we were talking about. But, um, yeah, it's because it's a refire, it's not even in my book either. Uh, it was Sapphire Float, Blue Rutile, Indigo Float, Textured Turquoise. Oatmeal. And then oatmeal, it here. drops in the Just middle. Here. Yeah. Yeah. And then what did you refire oh, then, like, it with? All over. Did you only do one colour out? Uh, yeah, you I refired with the Sapphire Float on that. Just outside. Sapphire Float. That's why you've got more of the blues and the runs. Yeah. I love that. I think that's a, apart from. Ow, oh, oh, yeah. don't do that. <laughs> no. um, it's an improvement and I think it's even better than it was. Whatever. Yes, oh no, it's ugly up there. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the <laughs> um, look, you know ducky. Crack, crack. You know ducky. Oh, I'll give so it. I was singing that rainbow song when I painted him in my head. Like I have so many things going on in my head <laughs> all the time. You wouldn't believe what's going on in my head right now. It's so hard to concentrate. But I don't know if the Ameri if Americans have that same rainbow song because when they talk about rainbows on Amico and that, it's always a different order and it's different colour. But with us, it's red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. So I did it and then I started repeating it again. So I just did that. And then I just did some little... I was actually just practising line line painting with underglaze, jet black on. So it's all underglazes and then I just put clear on him. Cute. That's blues yeah. bubble. It looks like it's bubbled oh, a little probably. bit as well. It always does, doesn't it? It does. But because yeah, it's, it's only on the top of his wings, it kind of feels like maybe that was part of the texture of the clay. It's not, but it's... Yeah, we always have that with the blue, don't we? I'm going to put him up there. He's cute. Next shelf. I don't want to look because now we're going to start getting into my mugs that I need for the markets. I shouldn't say I need them because it's scary. And I can see why now the outside of your bowl went because it's on my shelf. Oops, I just want to, oh, it's bits so I can get off, but I just don't want them to fall on the floor and someone, me, will tread on them and cut my foot open. So I go, well, oh, just like, like that. that. Yeah, but there is little bits on there. So I'll have to <laughs> grind them off. But kiln wash, it will be quite easy to get them off. Oh, let's look. Okay, so it doesn't look too bad from the top. So let's start with the boring beautifulness. Why is it boring? Because I've done it so many times now. <laughs> my beachy oh, glaze. That's gorgeous. Just calling though. it my beachy glaze. So it's um actually no, that's not boring because that's not blue. That's not yes. sell it on bloom. That's why I was thinking, why isn't that as yeah, pretty as not? Yeah. Um so but it's still pretty. Nose blue oatmeal light flux. Because I told you guys I do got nose little blue. dots. Hmm. There's one feather around as well. That's just organic. It's organic. Yeah. <laughs> but I love how it looks like waves, waves. coming mm. over on the sand. We got that last time I did it. I love yeah, that. Yeah, gorgeous. And then we well, oh, how interesting is this? So I've got one with Celadon Bloom. Right next to you. Yeah, so now you can see what I've been raving on about all this time. So, yeah, with the Celadon Bloom, it's more green. Yeah. I do like it. It's pretty with the blooms. Yeah. But yeah. I think it gets lost a little in the waves. It's... Sort of I think I clouds, did. But... I think I did too much light flux, maybe, or it was a bit too high. If I had just done the light flux down a mm. bit further, maybe I don't know. But that's all practice. But I did that little. Oh, you can't really see, but the handle where I do the imprint of the texture, kind of lost it with the glaze. Yeah. But what's in? I've dropped. I've dropped <laughs> crystals in the bottom. What a shame! <laughs> so they fall off sometimes when you do the second and third coat. Yeah, the but ones the shells the that are washed fall. up on the sand. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> Yeah, or a footprint from some kid that's run out of the ocean. But, yeah, they're pretty. They are pretty. So, yeah, that is more beachy when you see them together because mm. it's more blue. So, yes, I can see what you mean. Duckies, ducky overload. Oh, oh, So, he's obviously the same mould. He's nice and soft. 
that's just a velvet under uh velvet under glaze and the coat <laughs> violet that's so cute and the bright yellow yeah he's cute i do like them they're fun to sit there when you're watching tv and paint some little so duckies cute. can sit there and he can play now this one i'll do all this one Oh, pretty. That's so cute. Look at his little uh -huh. chubby cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> so it's another one of those moulds I've been playing with. And um, he's just so cute. He's very unstable. And actually, because my daughter has in inherited my klutziness. And I had one upstairs yesterday and she picked it up. And I said, oh, it's still green where it hasn't even been bished yet. Be really careful. They're wobbly when you put them down. So she put it down like this put a hand off and went whoop and <laughs> she pulled her hand back and tipped him and he just rocked and she quickly stopped it so it was okay but it was so funny we both cracked up laughing because it was just so funny oh he's so pretty put dots on him something's pinging that yeah he's cute so like unfortunately i didn't have cones on the last shelf with all the bloating but this one's five so you would imagine it was five because the top was not even a five going so you would imagine it would have been a five as well now this dude same dude right so when you get the molds out they have the line where the two molds meet and you scrape it off and you sponge it off and chase said to me oh that looks like a mohawk and you know how i've said to you before when i did chattering she said oh, that looks like grass and i went with it just trying to look um well i decided to make an 80s punk Rock. duck with a mohawk <laughs> oh my god he's so cute <laughs> or she i should say so i so I looked it up as just to have a reference and I wish I could show you the reference photo. I should have actually shown you. And the woman had the red mohawk and she had red lipstick and she had this um, chain around her neck and a leather, like a dog collar kind of thing. So I was just, and even the same t-shirt and the anarchy kind of badge. And oh, I just think he's gorgeous. And then I did his eyebrows and I didn't even mean to give him this like angry eyebrow, but I love it. It just happened. So he's so cute. So Trace is trying to look up because I think I sent her in Messenger the, the reference. So this one, oh, that's mm. rainforest snow. We're just talking about snow. So I wasn't sure because there was no handle or anything for this one. So I wasn't sure whether to do it at an angle because I didn't have the handle to be against. So anyway, I just end up doing snow, rainforest then snow all over, three of each. And rain, just plain rainforest inside. Because you can't find it, but that's all right. Can't find it. Um, just rainforest inside, rainforest, snow outside. Yeah, that's pretty. So good. people have asked me before, how do you get the oil spot? That's not a very big oil spot. But that's basically it. the the tip of it is even coats. So if you do two, then do two. This is three of each. If you do four of each, I think you get bigger oil spot. I don't know, but oh, you can I play with it. I always thought that you got the bigger oil spots if you did more of the snow versus the coats of the underglow or maybe. whatever the... Yeah, maybe. You can all play so if they're not, find out. Yeah, if they've not even, if you do, the more mm. snow you do or the thicker the snow, the bigger the spots. Yeah, I've always been most successful with it having it even, but I haven't really tried that much, so we'll have to try. But I love the rainforest by itself. Oh, mm. gee, it's a pretty glaze. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. Where did your one go that we were just saying? That was the broken one. Oh, okay, of course. So that's rainforest. If you can see it, it's like greeny colour, which is what is halfway down the blue mm. in the bottom there. So it should be this beautiful bright green. Isn't that interesting? I love that. Mm. So we have seen rainforest go blue with honey flux. I think it was and it went blue. So this one's gorgeous. Oh. Wow! Yeah, that's look great. at it. Here. Look at the dribble. <gasps> that's black adventure. Can you see yeah. it in the bottom? Yeah, shiny. <laughs> so beautiful. So that'll be the the whole thing that Trace and I have both done on vases because it's got a little blow. Not worrying. No, it's organic. That's texture. It's fine. It's texture. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, yeah. So we have done that. Both of us have done that on mugs and things before. So. Um, I decided to do um, decided to do it again on a mug. Black Aventurine, Chun Plum, Textured Turquoise, Sapphire Float, Smoky Merlot and a bit of oatmeal on the rim. 
Mm. Actually, there was a lot of oatmeal on the run. Oh, there's little ones there too. All around there. That wouldn't be very nice to drink from. I'll have to have a closer look at that. What a shame. Yes, I wonder if that's all to do with the issue. But I love the bottom. Oh, that is so great. Didn't run. I was worried with black aventurine, but it didn't run. Handle. I love the bottom mm -hmm. of the handle, the dribble. Yes, oh, it's, it's so gorgeous. Pretty. Yeah, because it's not a dribble dribble. <laughs> it's mm. a flat dribble. Yes. Which you prefer. No, no, we can't fit everything. That's gorgeous. So I love it. Now Don't this knock your one. Off. Sorry? Don't knock your ducks off. <laughs> Um, this one is a mold that I got that is a pumpkin mold and as I've said before in Australia we don't really do Halloween, we don't really do pumpkins, can't imagine ever using it. However, and of course it's nowhere near Halloween, it's December. But I thought, oh the bottom part of it without the lid and chopping off the bit that goes in would be a really nice bowl. So it's did it as a bowl. Oh, that's, oh, that's so beautiful. So that is the violet underglow. I'm trying to see where you can see all the colours, but you can't really. So it's the um, Amico Violet Underglaze, the Celeste we love from Walkers, and there is rose in here as well. So pink, purple, and green. But and inside it dribbled, and I quite liked the dribbles, so I left them thinking I'd do a runny glaze, and I didn't. I just did clear. So I don't know whether I like them or whether they look like a fault now without having a color on there um but yeah i don't know it's pretty but um that is what i did was that was an air air gun air, air yeah. compressor gun thing with the colors that was to your, get that the, on there that was the diffuser thing wasn't it? yeah the spray yeah yeah like mm. the air thing yeah um so yeah i'm not sure i don't know about the inside whether i'll reglaze that i might because i could you know what i could put in there you know that purple that we found from the hf range the violet and or lilac or whatever it's called and we put the hf white with it mm. it was that beautiful soft yeah no i yeah. like the i like the white on the inside yeah i, I love it too but much i'm just not sure with the put... dribbles that's the only thing so i don't know i'll think mm. about it because i do i love it i'm just going down there and run out of room up the top that's that shelf. So the next shelf is all my mugs. This is the shelf I'm really nervous for because I really, really want them for the markets. Okay. Oh, yeah. I want to take this one off. Oh, bottom shelf. Last shelf. All right. So, should we get a mug out, a mug out, or a mug out? <laughs> We'll get cones out <laughs> five and a half so that looks to have been the hottest shelf if we knew about the second shelf they look okay from up here but i don't know so i'll get out the one that we love first oh <sighs> alabaster norse blue aren't you just glorious now that's beachy that oh, is beautiful so much prettier on the alabaster than by itself it's such a light Oh, and the feel of that alabaster. I can't wait to get into those satin mats. I hope they feel the same because that's Mako in there, Amico. We had a lady who came into the, the market and she's like, oh, I don't know what to get. And both yeah. of us said, oh, we love that one. you got to pick it up and feel it. As soon as she put her hands on it, she went, not that's looking mine. at anything else. That's mine. Yeah, and she like, sorry, because we're both, oh, that's our favourite. Oh, sorry, it's coming home with me. And so, yeah, it sold first market. So, yeah, so that's why I repeated it because... Yes, it's beautiful and it's sold so fast. So that goes in with them, actually. Okay, Trace is, well, not really favourite, but one of her likes, the blue mm. splatter wear. So last time yes. I did this, I did the um, sapphire on the handle. But as I keep saying, I'd like to have a slight difference, even though the shape is different. So I decided blue splatter wear all, all over and sapphire inside. That's gorgeous. Gee, I love that sapphire. Yeah. They just go each time I think, I'll put something else with it. No, they just match each other mm -hmm. beautifully. And it ha it seems okay. It hasn't done that um, patchiness on it, which is great. Yeah. Eye-catching, it's old, so that's why I did the novel. I know it looks quite black when you hold it up in, in camera. You said it, that last but time. It but it is really bright blue. Well, when we won, I watched it back. You could see that it was bright blue. Yeah. I think it's just the camera. Yeah. But the thing is, this is the satin matte feel as well. Mm. So I'm not sure that I like it as much on the handle as the gloss. don't know. But it's, you know, it's gorgeous. Okay. 
this is a cup. Oh, oh so that's the mug that I did that I've kept still upstairs. Look at those dribbles. Mm. How perfectly did they stop? Yeah. Wow. Uh, so that is Raspberry Mist Winter Wood Light Flux. So I've got a mug in that and I loved it so much I kept it. So I thought I'm going to repeat it. It was meant to be a mug. Handle fell off. Not a mug. Cup. <laughs> so Trace puts handles back on it. Bone dry. Never seems to work for me. So I just left it as a cup. I nearly tried, but I thought no. But that's pretty. I like that. Of course I like that. It's pink. But that's where I'm saying where I can see why Trace appreciates this whereas that's a lot mm. darker and a lot more it's not the reactive red but yes. the reactive it's reds even of, darker than that. yeah them. it is more of a red pink as it well is. Rather yeah, than a raspberry raspberry, raspberry mist. Yeah. it's a good name for it really yeah okay what's this one? Oh, stuck oh no it's just um so that oh that's beautiful can you get the hammer because that's just so that's what i have found that happened once before as well with those new cookies if you put one on and then the foot ring shrinks and it catches onto it, so that's, I hope, not glazed, unless I clear glazed it, the foot ring and didn't realise. But I think it's just, yeah. See, it just knocks straight off. There's a little bit caught there, but I'll be able to easily get that off. Um, so the foot ring shrinks onto it and grabs onto it, so you've got to kind of be careful to get a smaller one that doesn't fit perfectly, which I obviously didn't. But how gorgeous That's, is that? Yeah, I love that. That almost looks like the Mud Magic Mystical Glaze, doesn't it, the top of that? Mm. That's beautiful. I don't know what that is. I've got so many mugs on here. Um... Uh, it's not red. <laughs> um, oh, there are just so many. Um, oh, here it is. Blue opal with sapphire float over. Ooh. So when I did that, I nearly didn't do it because I thought, oh, that's weird. Why have I written that in my list of ones I want to do? Well, obviously, I saw it somewhere and loved it because, wow, yeah, they match so well. I yeah. love that. Because I've done the blue opal with the galaxy and I almost thought it was that when I pulled it out. But that's, oh, I love that. That's really nice. That would be a great Father's Day mug. Yes, good <laughs> um, size too. What's this one? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So that's a copy from Trace's vase from a couple of kilns ago. That's just indigo float. Oh, on the black clay and yep. remember I said I always wanted a nice glaze for a black clay so I wrote it down carved it because hers was carved and I loved it and there's no green on it you yeah, know we get sometimes beautiful. it breaks that horrible green so I was careful to do thick three thick coats so I didn't want that green and I don't have it nope. but I was careful down here not too much because I thought it's going to run off oh that's perfect look at the inside yeah that's oh. gorgeous so even without texture it's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. Things are still pinging. That's stunning. That's my favourite so far. Oh, here's the red one. <laughs> Scarlet Red Galaxy. So that is just a repeat because it's sold. Um, there's a lot of crystals in that. Mm. Must have been getting close to the bottom. That's a crystal. That's not bloating. Um, then we had that with the winter wood that time when we forgot and didn't mix yes. it enough and all the crystals were in the bottom. There's one in the bottom there that looks a bit <laughs> manky, but I like the handle on that. Yeah, it's a nice cute. handle. But I, we had a real red day last market. The ladybird, ladybug, sorry, ladybug candle holder sold. This sold. Something else red sold. And so, yeah, it was weird how they're going runs. Maybe like it's that. because it's coming up to Christmas and people maybe. associate red, with red and green with yeah. Christmas. Yeah, or if they were Christmas presents, maybe, because yeah. it's Christmassy. Yeah, maybe. Oh. oh, didn't even know I did that. That looks like the normal, the, the smoky mellow texture turquoise charm plum, doesn't it? Yeah. That is so pretty. It's very pretty. I love that shape too. Ah. Oh. Well, that's actually saying blue rutile chum plum. If it's that one, um, unless I did a couple, but um, I don't think so. Yeah, no. So, 
top of that. So that, yeah, so that's Blue Rutal Champlon. So isn't that interesting? That doesn't even have textured turquoise on it. Ah, uh, it's got two little crawlies there. Little froggies. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah, I think I'd just leave it. That's yeah. Cool. I love the hair. Yeah, it's gorgeous. But yeah, we know Blue Rutile breaks that brown because that's on the white clay. So yeah. that's actually the Blue Rutile doing that, not the clay colour. And then just Chum Plum over. Again, one I had seen online and loved. So pretty. So pretty. Just such a shame about those two spots. Hopefully whoever, somebody will not mind. Uh, okay. Goodness, there's so many. Oh, wow. That is... What is that? Is that rainforest? So the carved mark, horizontal mark. Oh, rainforest seaweed. So that's another one I'd seen and another one I nearly didn't do. So you can see here the rainforest, it just makes it more green really, doesn't it? It doesn't yeah. do much to it. Uh, I like it though. I like it too. It's quite yeah. tonal. You can see where I finished the seaweed because seaweed's yes. a massive runner, but being horizontal lines, that it wouldn't. hasn't run. Yeah. But I like it, yeah. It's not offensive like a lot no, of greens. Pretty, I do, I like it. Yeah, I like it. That's nice too. A few male mugs, which is good. I needed some more male or masculine mugs. So they could be either. Or oh, earthy, yeah, the earthy sort of colours. Oh, that one. Oh, so that's the that same. Oh, yeah. she could do it. So that's done the same thing, but on an angle. Oh, no, it's all right. I've got it. It popped off. Because it was only on an angle, so that's some um, river rock. Oh, that's bloated too, just in one spot. Mm. Gee, I'm glad to get rid of that clay, I tell you. Great handle, you know. If, it, if the new clay does it, I'm gonna be like, oh no. Uh, so that one I saw on here, so that's river rock, smoky mellow, chum plum, textured turquoise. So again, I did that through the male perspective, but it's. Again, it's only one. So I think, how nice is this smoky mallow? I think I'll still take it because it's only the one blobby and it can just be texture, like you mm -hmm. said. Not like the pink and white marble, <laughs> the heart pulp. Oh, yeah, over. no, that, yeah. That's a big one. <laughs> that one, I'll still take it, who knows. And last one, last piece again. Oh, look at the, yeah, I need the, need the hammer. Look at that! You know what? I just found an oh, sorry, it came off. I'm just getting her steps up. So is she making her walk back and forth? Do you know what I'm gonna call that glaze now? What does that make you think of kid wise? Monsters Ink Monster. Oh, it's yes. the same colours. Yeah. So that's my Monsters Ink glazing from now on. Look cute. So I've got my oh, beachy that's so one. Pretty. That's gorgeous. So that's just Smoky Merlot on Power Turquoise. I've done that before. It just shocks me how purple Smoky Merlot goes on Power Turquoise. And because I love pink and green, or pink and, oh, sorry, pink, purple and turquoise, um, but the handle at the bottom's beautiful. And inside is even beautiful. No bloating didn't run surprisingly because power turquoise but i did only do i think one even one coat i think at the bottom and then oh yeah he's the same colors isn't that that's as so soon as i put it out i was like that's a monster and i love monsters in so i don't like many kids movies but i love that one and i love shrek too just so you know uh that's oh. and that's a new shape that i did by accident and I was kind of thinking really what like a nice it. male mug but it's kind of gone a bit girly now still could be a male mug so, um, oh, that's yeah that's very pretty that's my favorite I think that's gonna be kiln favorite I so often t the last one I get out ends up being my kiln favorite of this one oh, and for ease you know, one glaze. One glaze, yeah. You know, done. You're not yeah. doing layer upon layer and coming back every hour when it's dried and I mean, we're lucky in Australia. It's so hot here at the moment. Everything's drying so fast, so we get it done pretty quickly. But that's it. Yeah, I think that's my favourite. I might have to keep it. Oh, stop it's gorgeous. It yeah. Okay, so, yeah, if anyone has any hints on whether Freddie might have caused some of that, well, or whether, actually, what I really would like to know, if that crack bowl did 
hit, well, it hit the side, it was resting on the side, it wasn't in against an element, but whether it, if it did go in and hit it and bounce back or something, could that have caused the kiln to turn off? I don't know. But anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Stay muddy and have a magic day. Bye.